In this video, we solve problem 7.1.17 from Essentials of Statistics, sixth edition by Mario Triola. The problem statement says a clinical trial tests a method designed to increase the probability of conceiving a girl. In the study, 520 babies were born and 286 of them were girls. Use the sample data to construct a 99% confidence interval our 99% confidence interval estimate of the percentage of girls born. Based on the results, does the method appear to be effective? And they're listing this confidence interval estimate like this. They're saying that P is in between this value and this value, and we're asked to round to three decimal places as needed. In order to do this, I'm going to share my paper with you. So here is the question. It's right here at the bottom of the sheet. It's a little bit sideways. That's okay. <laughs> okay, so um, this is my um, problem statement. And in order to find uh, this value and this value, all I need to do is compute um, two things. I need to compute p hat. That's gonna be the proportion of girls out of the 520 babies born. So we typically denote that by X over N. That's 286 over 520. And I'll use a calculator for that. And we get 0 0.55. And then we need the margin of error associated with a 99% confidence interval. So we want Z sub alpha over two times, let's see. We go here, we've got our formulas. It's a little bit hard to see on there. This is the Triola formulas and tables. So. This is our confidence interval for a proportion, and this is the um, margin of error. So we have z sub alpha over two times the square root of p hat times q hat over n. Now, if p hat is the proportion in our sample that were girls, q hat is everyone else, so it's one minus p hat or 0 0.45. Our sample size was 520. And to find this z sub alpha over two, I'm going to go to um, my z scores table. And notice that you've got common uh, confidence levels and critical values over here. I want a confidence level of 99%, so 0 0.99. So the critical value associated with that is Z equals 2.575. So I find the um, Z score that corresponds to that confidence level. And then I multiply by the square root of P hat times Q hat divided by the sample size. Now this looks a little strange because my paper is tilted. Normally what I do is I evaluate this expression under the radical first. So we do 0.55 times 0.45 divided by 520. We take the square root of the answer and then we multiply by five or 2.575, we hit equals, and we get a margin of error of approximately 0 0.05618, just approximately. Now, the values here and here for our um, confidence interval are centered at p hat, so this is in the middle, and then we add the error to get the upper bound, and we subtract the error to get the lower bound. So this is p hat uh, plus the error, and this is p hat minus the error. 
So if I take this and I add that error, I can get my upper bound. And so I get approximately 0 0.606. And I believe they said to round to three decimal places. And then I will take p hat and subtract the error to get our lower bound. So 0.55 minus 0 0.0561 approximately we get that answer, which is about 0.4939. So I'd round up to 0.494 if I'm asked to round to three decimal places. So that's our confidence interval. Let's go back to the homework assignment, make sure that we have answered it the way that they want us to. So I have 0 0.494 as my lower bound and 0 0.606 as my upper bound. Okay, great. Now the question says, does the method appear to be effective? Now, remember what this uh, problem statement said. It says a clinical trial tests a method designed to increase the probability of conceiving a girl. So we would say that the probability of conceiving a girl without this method is 0 0.5. So you have a one in two chance, either get a girl or a boy. Um, and those are equal, um, equally probable outcomes. That's what we typically assume. So um, we're going to say that that method appears to be effective if that true population proportion um, is not um, equal to 0 0.5, or in other words, if 0 0.5 is not in between this lower bound and this upper bound, then we would say that that clinical trial tests a method that appears to be effective because the proportion of girls that you get is significantly more um, than 0.5. Um, but it's not. 0.5 is actually in that range. So the proportion of girls is not significantly different from 0.5. So that's our answer there. And again, it's because the 0.5 is in the range that we're saying that the proportion is not significantly different from that 0.5. And that's it.